Today on this 2010 Honda CRV, we're going to show you the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-88400. We'll go ahead and show you what components come with this kit. First off, we've got the wire harness here, the relay, a fuse holder with the fuse already installed, this little brass piece is a fuse tap, and terminal to slide into it, and butt connector is a ring terminal for ground, and some zip ties. All right. Now, one thing we're going to add to our install today is going to be a 10 amp fuse like this. Okay, The fuses that are already in the vehicle are a flush mount style, or a mini fuse, and so the wiretap won't work, but we can replace it with a normal fuse like this. And in fact, let's go ahead and put that on together now. It'll be easiest to show. This brass piece goes over one leg, and you just kind of work it over the top, and it snaps over the plastic part of the fuse. So kind of the easiest way is to kind of grab one end and just kind of work them in place so it's a really tight fit. Let's set that to the side for now. We'll go ahead and work on our wire harness here and add our butt connectors as needed. Okay, we'll work with red wire first. We're going to add our fuse holder to this, so we're going to just cut it in half. Stretch the wires back. Fuse holder, slide it onto the wire, crimp right here. Same thing on the other side. To the end of this wire, we'll strip it off and add the little terminal. Now this little terminal will go onto our little fuse tap here. It may be easier to leave this on or off depending on when you actually put it in the vehicle. So I'm going to leave that off for now. Let's work for a black wire here. We're going to add the blue terminal to it and crimp it in place. All right, we'll leave that one alone for now. All right now, I'll work for a green wire. Now to our green wire, we got this little red wire here. I'm gonna actually add it right next to it. We'll twist them together. Let me cut off some excess. And add the yellow buck connector. Now, this red wire is going to be used for a signal output from the brake switch when it's being depressed. This is what you need when you add a supplemental braking system to the vehicle. Now, in this application, our blue wire is not going to be used, so we'll go ahead and take our white wire and add the ring terminal to it. Let's go ahead and take our relay put it onto the harness and snap it into place. We just line up the pins. Okay, now if all these connections made, it makes a little bit less trouble underneath the dashboard of our vehicle. Next, we'll go underneath the dashboard. Now to start off, we'll go ahead and get, we need to remove this panel to get access to our switch and a little extra room to get access to our fuses as well. Just pops down out of the way. This is our brake switch right here. And then we'll find the correct wire we need to cut because we want to find the wire that gets hot when we press the brake pedal. Okay, and we need access to these wires right here. Just to demonstrate what we're looking for, I'm going to use a tester. I'm going to ground some sheet metal. Then I'll go ahead and check the wire. So this is what we're looking for. We hit the brake pedal, we got power. So that's going to be our green with silver bands. So we're going to cut that wire in half and add our wire harness. Let's 
strip back enough wire where I can actually twist it and fold it over so it gets more grip with the large buck connector that's provided. Now our black wire will go to the other half. Now for our fuse tap, we need to go to a fuse that's hot only when the key is in the on position. Now we're actually going to try this one right here, labeled number 22. Now there's no fuse in there pre-existing. So let's go ahead and try it out. So there's nothing with the key off, so let's go ahead and try the key on. Nothing on the bottom. Okay. So it looks like the top side's hot. We'll double check if we're turning the key off and on a couple times. Keys off. Keys on the on position. So that's what we want. We'll take our fuse and our fuse tap, and the side that's hot, we want that our fuse tap to go to. So let's go ahead and push it into place. Now we'll check our work. We'll test our red wire. That's going to be our output when the vehicle is in a towed position. Pushing on the brake pedal, it'll send a signal out to the indicator. All right, now with the key in the out or off position, we shouldn't have the brake lights come on when we hit the brake pedal. Now with the vehicle in tow mode, we still shouldn't have any brake signal. Okay, now we're driving the vehicle normally. With the key in the on position, now we have our brake light signal driving normally. If everything's working, let's go ahead and take a moment to bundle up our wires. Also, we want to make sure we have enough wires left off for, for a supplemental braking system. And we'll just bundle them up and we'll just tuck them up over here. All right, we're all finished. Go we'll ahead and put a little panel back up into place. Snap it up on that side. And then put the knob back here. And we're good to go. Okay, with everything working, they'll finish it for part number RM-88400, the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit for towed vehicles on this 2010 Honda CRV.